I spent 17 years here as a police chief and I've been back with the housing authority for approximately six weeks and I quite frankly can tell you that most of my time and attention has been devoted to this ceremony today. And I, I've got to tell you, the more I've looked at and read uh, excerpts and been told stories about Mrs. Clark, I'm sure the time has been well spent. Indeed, she has been, was a true pioneer. I don't know that this beautiful uh, facility would be here today had it not been for Mrs. Clark and her efforts and courage to stand up on this matter. So it's been a lot of work, it's a hot day, but I'm glad to be here and a part of this ceremony. Uh, since Mayor Josh Cohen has been elected mayor of the city of Annapolis, there has been a new partnership that has been established with the Housing Authority for the city of Annapolis and the residents of the city of Annapolis. And I want to emphasize the word is partnership. He's indeed been a great partner. Would you please uh, join me and welcome to the podium the Honorable Josh Cohen, Mayor of the City of Annapolis. Good morning, everybody. I was walking over here and uh, talking uh, with somebody walking with me about what a beautiful day it is. And uh, we we're talking about the fact that I can make this day even more wonderful by keeping my remarks relatively brief. Alderman Israel and I introduced legislation uh, just last month with the intent to honor the late Elsie Virginia Clark. And the City Council unanimously adopted this legislation. The City of Annapolis proudly recognizes the legacy of Elsie Virginia Clark, whose activism on behalf of Bloomsbury Square's residents is now proudly memorialized. Through this center, future generations will learn of Ms. Clark's dedication to preserving Bloomsbury Square by turning tur turmoil into success she realized a vision that all who visit can build upon. Given under my hand and the great seal of the city of Annapolis this 24th day of June, Joshua J. Cohen, Mayor. Congratulations. We're here this morning to honor the memory of the late Elsie Virginia Clark. Mrs. Clark lived in this community for almost 50 years. When the very existence of this community was threatened, she was instrumental in preserving it, and it was later relocated to the site we all know. For her courage and leadership, she has been called the Rosa Parks of Bloomsbury Square. Rosa Parks was a black woman. Elsie Clark was a white woman. Yet they shared the, that sense of dignity that is the divine gift to every human being regardless of race or gender. When I first got the letter from the Housing Authority, it was it brought tears to my eyes. We all started crying. It was very, very emotional. I mean, my grandmother was, you know, lived to be 102, lived here for over 40 years, and was very proud of Bloomsbury Square. You know, planting her flowers, cutting her own grass, and, and she went and talked at the city council meeting and made appointments with the mayor and the governor, and so it's, it's a very proud day for us. Uh, look, Bloomsbury Square, one of the oldest public housing complexes in the country, it was recently uh, renovated, but uh, I think it represents a transition in history, quite candidly, uh, from a period of the 1930s, 40s, and 50s to what we have today as far you know, uh, much of the time, uh, some of the community was segregated. Today, it's very much uh, an integrated community. Everyone is interwoven into the fabric of the city of Annapolis. And I think this just remembers an outstanding woman who played a, a huge part uh, in what the historic uh, significance of Annapolis is. I just think it's such an honor to, you know, uh, honor her in this this way. I mean, the dedication of this place, she would be ever so happy, ever so happy. And, you know, it's just wonderful to be here to acknowledge all the hard work she had to save Bloomsbury Square. 
And Mr. Snowden told me once, if it hadn't been for my mother, there wouldn't have been an old Bloomsbury Square or a new one. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Clark was instrumental in maintaining this community on this site when many others fought it. And so to name this community center after her is a small thank you for the work that she did. But she also exemplifies the city of Annapolis and its residents because we have community centers like this around the city and it's quite fitting to honor those people who worked hard to get those centers. You know, a community center is vital to any community to maintain activities for the young people as well as the old. So to have a name on it for someone who stands for those very things I think is quite significant. I used to work at Anne Arundel Medical Center for 16 years, and I would walk at lunchtime over here to her house at Bloomsbury Square. She would have a tuna fish sandwich already made for me, a, a pitcher of fresh tea, and it was just wonderful. I really miss her. We just had David McCullough, the great historian, down to the State House, and uh, you know, it, it's all part of the fabric of the history of one of the uh, founding colonies, and I think uh, Ms. Clark played a, a huge role here, and I think it's uh, uh, great to uh, remember her in this way. As a lieutenant in the police department, also was one of my block captains, and had an occasion to celebrate her birthday, her birthday, and I was a pain to her because she believes in making sure everybody in the community working together to make the community safe. So, on behalf of Congressman John Sarbanes, who's unable to be here, I'm offering a citation. It's in honor of the late Elsie Virginia Clark for her enduring dedication to the Bloomberg Square community. As a champion of the neighborhood, she and so many others called home. Today, dedication of the Elsie Virginia Clark Community Center at Bloomberg Square is a fitting tribute to an extraordinary, and I want to underline that, extraordinary woman. Thank you. I have a brief citation to Elsie Virginia Clark, the Rosa Parks of Bloomsbury Square. In recognition of her contributions and advocacy for the growth and development of the Bloomsbury Square public housing development, thereby naming the community center in her honor, the Elsie Virginia Clark Community Center. It's a great privilege and honor for me to be here. We also have the entire city of Annapolis and supporters as they drive by. Thank you very much. Thank you.